In this video, I am covering the sneakiest reason why you are not having as much success as you could be having as a gym owner. It's something I have personally dealt with. It is a common topic of coaching conversations with my clients. I'll break it down and give you some frameworks for how to overcome it. My name is Mark Fisher from businessforunicorns.com and today we are talking about a core issue that is getting in the way of your success right now. And that issue is you have not updated your identity. That's right, you do not yet, yet, identify as a business owner, you identify as a personal trainer or a fitness professional, and it's not helping you. I don't think this is woo at all. I think this is actually something that really is an issue because what I can tell you is this, if your self-worth is tied up in being a great trainer, if that's how you really derive a lot of personal satisfaction, how you feel like you best make impact. But if you really wanna succeed as an owner, you're gonna to have to let that go. And here's part of what makes this hard, because let's call this out. This is oftentimes the issue that I see. You are afraid that your clients will be mad at you. And because of that, you're holding yourself back from the life you really wanna be living, a life outside of the gym, which is a thing that can happen. You know how I know this, my beloved viewer? Because I had the same issue. But understand, Mark Fisher Fitness wouldn't exist if I held back because when I started doing any kind of group training or I moved away from just having one-on-one -on -one clients, if the fact that I knew that a handful of those clients would not want me to do it, there wouldn't even be Mark Fisher Fitness. I wouldn't be having this YouTube video. And since that was a lifestyle that wasn't sustainable for me, well, gosh, who knows? I might not even be in the fitness industry anymore. Now, I don't wanna minimize this because full disclosure, that was very challenging for me. And even now, you know, Mark Fisher Fitness has been over 12 years and occasionally someone will still take a shot at me, <laughs> either anonymously or, or even not, to talk about, you know, their desire for me to be there more. And to some extent, even the past couple of years has been another version of that as I've taken more and more steps out of the business. And I personally think put in a great team that frankly is better at me than a lot of things I used to do. But listen, if you're doing a great job making a gym, you should also be able to sleep tonight thinking, well, listen, I, I might not be capable of doing it anymore because my life dreams have changed. But number one, I have an obligation to be the person I wanna be because none of us are here long for this world. And number two, if you're doing a good job as a gym owner, not as a trainer, as a gym owner, putting in place the systems, the standard operating procedures to give a really awesome, consistent, high level of service through your team, you're actually able to impact even more people. And you are providing them a really awesome fitness solution. Now, it's well within their rights to say that's not what they want, but it is also well within your rights to move forward confidently in the direction of your dreams. Because you know that you can't create the life that you want if you're on the floor 40, 50 hours a week. Even with 30 hours a week for most people, that's not gonna fly. But the key thing to understand is if you want the gym to thrive, and it's not just about the you show, about you being the best possible trainer, you are gonna have to update that identity. You're gonna have to start to think of yourself as a business owner. What that means is, instead of getting your umpteenth kettlebell certification, you're gonna wanna do things like, well, watch this video, right? And I wanna acknowledge, you're watching this video, so presumably you're already on your path, but just in case we still have a little bit of of updating of the software in there. I wanna really get in there and uh, encourage you to hit restart on the computer and download this new software. You are a business owner first. Yes, you're also a personal trainer. That will always be part of what you do. You need that to oversee one of the fingers of the business because certainly you'll still probably be the subject matter expert. You'll still oversee the standards and make sure the training product is very, very good. But you also have to be primarily responsible for marketing, for driving leads, as well as understand the basics of cash management and finances even some light HR stuff. How do you really take care of and onboard people in the beginning of their life with you? How do you create great retention systems so you're honoring long-term clients so they still feel cared for? And of course, leadership, right? Because you can't do this alone. If you don't get good at managing and leadership, at hiring, recruiting, training, managing, holding people accountable, well, then you're always gonna be limited by your own human energy. And if we're really talking about maximizing your impact, that's gonna have to happen through other people. So here's the thing. I, I want to acknowledge that it's possible if this is you, I hope you're not inside just like dying and being like, oh no, that's a lot of shit I can offer. I totally get this can be a lot. It can be overwhelming. And this is where the opportunity is. You must update your identity. You are no longer just a personal trainer. You must grow. You must evolve, right? You must come out of the cocoon. And part of how we do this is taking action every day in the way that a business owner would take action, which is likely for many of you, 
uh, adopting some, if not daily, ideally daily, but ideally several times a week practice of developing and refining these skills that you did not learn as a personal trainer to get good at the business piece. Because if you don't get good at all these other skills, you can't create a, a really satisfying job and a career for them in your business. Now, I, I realize I'm talking perhaps outside of both sides of my mouth here. I'm saying on the one hand, the issue is you don't have the proper identity. But on the other hand, I'm saying the solve is you have to take action. And listen, I acknowledge the barrier to taking action is the identity isn't there yet. However, sometimes I think action is the thing that you need to do. So a full deep dive is hard to do just on a video here because I've done a lot of these conversations in my career and they're often in a coaching conversation. So I think the last thing I will offer here is in addition to taking daily action is getting clear on and not losing sight what it is that you want most from your business and being willing to do what you want most over what you want now. Because if you have this vision of a relationship with your gym where you have a large community of people and a happy and satisfied staff and the business is doing well and you have the relationship with the business you want, including time for loved ones, family, friends, time outside the business, that vision you wanna allow you pull yourself into the future and take the actions on a daily basis that are gonna move you in the right direction because this is not a thing you're gonna be able to change overnight. This is not a snap your fingers and suddenly you let go of an identity that you've held on to for some of you five, 10, 20 years, but this is the path. And the sooner you get started, the sooner you acknowledge if this is an issue, the sooner you start taking action, moving in the right direction, the sooner you're gonna create the life and the business of your dreams, which by the way, is not only great for you, it's also great for your clients, for your team and your family. You can do it. And if you need help, well, Go ahead, check out in the description box below. You might benefit from learning more about the Unicorn Society. No hard pitch there. There's a number of groups that do what we do in the Unicorn Society, but I will say one way to update your identity is to find yourself a part of a community that views you the way that you want to be viewed. And while you're down there rooting around the description box, you might as well give that subscription box a smash. All right, pals, thank you so much for checking this out. I will see you soon in a future video where I will offer you, yes, well, I'll offer you more actionable tips, psychological frame, works and philosophy.